It is wild. It's basically a full year's worth of weather all in one month. Extreme heat, wildfires, tornadoes, flooding, and heavy snow. Alberta has seen it all this month. The extreme weather has led to multiple evacuations across the province. And while it's not uncommon to see massive weather swings in Alberta, there are signs these events are tied to climate change. Generally looking at climate change, we see more dramatic events taking place. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's hotter every day or colder every day or, um, you know, we're into a persistent heat wave. But when the events take place, they're more dramatic. And we've really seen that this year encapsulated just this month. Ironically, on the 10th anniversary of the Southern Alberta flood, local water levels could once again be concerning. With all the rain that we've had, mainly through central and northwestern Alberta over the last couple of days, that combined with the snow in the mountains, it, it is a bit of a concern that we'll see those waters rising in our rivers and streams. So that's something to watch out for, potential for at least localized uh, flooding over the next handful of days. With active weather from one extreme to the other, it's not always easy to plan what to wear. While we're not in the clear just yet here in Calgary, Coos says we are moving to a more consistent seasonal pattern. In Calgary, Shilpa Downton, City News.